Pickle, let's go to the hotline. And let's go down to DeWitt County and talk with the head coach of the Carrizo Springs Wildcats. We are joined by Coach Giovanni Gonzalez. Coach, how are you? All right, pretty good. How about yourself? I'm excellent. How are things in beautiful Carrizo Springs, Texas? Oh, definitely. We're starting to uh, get a little bit of that South Texas heat. You know how that goes down (laughs) here in Texas. A little climate change. It's one day cold, one day hot. (laughs) I want to ask you about your 2021 season because it's 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 pretty remarkable. We just did a, a, a segment on the, the best first-year coaches in Texas high school football. Uh, I think you certainly lay, lay at least some sort of claim to that, uh, what you, were, you guys were able to do taking over a program, uh, you know, that, that you obviously have close ties to. Taking it over late, I think people may not recognize, you remember you took over in May, late May, uh, and then to go and to run off your first outright district championship since 1997, first undefeated regular season since 1984. My question for you is, is when you took over the job, did you think that something like this was possible for, for you guys in year one? I, you know, I, I mean, of course, that's always a long shot, but you never saw yourself short, you know, and uh, I always knew. You know, like you said, you said something that was pretty, uh, you know, uh, hit me right in the heart. You know, this is my hometown mm-hmm. uh, and being a part of that kind of tradition back in the day in the 97, 98 and all those early 90 years. You know, I knew that the capabilities here were, were definitely one of those to be able to achieve. And I knew the kids were here. And so I knew it was just a matter of a mentality, mentality change and, and getting these kids to buy into what we believe in. Was there a moment during the regular season uh, that you felt it, you felt like, okay, it's all come together. Or maybe in the in the preseason, was there a moment that you thought, all right, we might have something special here. We might be able to to get to to where we want to go. You know, I I don't I don't know if I ever felt that moment. I just knew that every every day we were getting better, and every game we were we were uh, rising to the the challenge that we placed on ourselves every week. And I knew these kids were were able to accomplish that. And I just felt like there was. Some, too many breaks that were going to be able to slow us down, you know. And so it just kind of felt that that every day we were, we kept getting better, and I knew that the kids uh, understood that, and I, and I knew that that we we faced some hard challenges and we played some tough opponents as we got closer into the late preseason and early district, and and it was able to set the set that little you know here we are this is the old Carrizo and we're here to kick butt and take names. <laughs> Uh, Talking with Giovanni Gonzalez, the head coach of the Carrizo Springs Wildcats here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag TF Today. So then I'm, I'm interested in, in, in what your message to your, your guys was going in. You know, the, you, you had been, you, you are an alum, but you had been away from the program. Um, you, you come in kind of late in the, in the process. You know, school's basically getting out whenever you are, uh, you are taking over. So when you address them as head coach for the first time, what was your message to your guys? I believe in where you come from. This is Carrizo. Carrizo's got a lot of tradition. Be proud of where you're from. And, and let's bring back that old school mentality where people got to respect a little small town south south of San Antonio and let's get after it. And, and I know that there were a lot of critics that always critiqued, you know, me being out of the game for a while. You know, but I, I, I took it as a personal level, you know, where I had to up my game. It was nothing that the kids ever knew. But, uh, you know, I rose to the challenge as well as them every day. And I and I surrounded myself with good people. Mm-hmm. You know, that was one good thing. I know we we had some people on staff, you know, uh, Coach Buentel, my OC. He was here on staff, just hadn't been given the opportunity to be on the offensive side and, and help with call playing. And once I gave him that, he, he rose to the challenge as well. And being able to bring in, you know, Coach Ains on the defensive side, he was a uh, – co-worker of mine we worked with back in crystal city that we had hired before and being able to come and give them this opportunity to be the first year as a dc and a lot of the other good coaches that were here on staff you know and getting them to to buy into what we believe in and so it was just a message that came from the heart and uh, most kids know when when you're genuine and you care for them and make sure you love them every day they, they understand that this is what it's all about uh, one of the things that I think is really remarkable about you guys' 2021 season was you you took over a defense that wasn't bad. It was you know about average. It was, it was doing okay, and you made them elite. You know, uh, with, with guys like Oscar Perseno and 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 David Castro. You know, it goes on and on. The defensive guys that you know Sergio Sonora, guys who were really strong for you defensively. Um, what was it about your defense that really? That really stood out to you. What was it about your defense that? Because I know you're a defensive guy. What 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 was it about your defense that that really uh, 
kind of clicked for you guys? Yeah, just like I said, you know, a, a good asset that what I was able to bring in with Coach Hans, you know, we believe in the same thing. Um, you know, we're stingy defense. We fly to the football. We're going to hit it and rip it and, and get it out of your hands. And, uh, you know, we have that mentality that, you know, every day at practice, we go live. You know, we're going to make sure that the way we practice is the way we play, and we preach that every day. And it's just a mentality deal. They got to stay hungry. You know, we had that, that eye of the tiger on a lot of those guys out there, and they just uh, became that stingy defense that we were looking for. And we started taking it personal. It was an enjoyable deal. You know, Coach Haynes took a lot of pride in it, uh, and, and it was just a matter of making sure we were trying to shut people down. You know, the, 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 the least yards, of course, that's our mentality always as any coach. But, you know, we put that table on there for them, and, and we, we said, hey, rise to the challenge. Let's keep shutting people down and, and just uh, maximize what we do best, and that's uh, tackle people, intercept the ball, and come up and make good plays. I don't want to bring up a sore subject, but uh, uh, you, <laughs> you guys go 10-0 and 0 in the regular season, uh, and then yeah. the playoffs roll around. You take on a, a good Port Isabel squad. Uh, and 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 they take you guys down. Um, you know, yeah. Carrizo is, is is you know you guys haven't won a playoff game since 1998. I'm interested yeah. if that's something you guys talk about. Is is that something that you guys are using as fuel here in the off season? Yeah, most definitely. You know, we we keep uh, reminding ourselves that you know whether it is Port Isabel or whether it's the next opponent coming for next year. But you know, we can't let somebody outwork us, and, and we got to be able to. Uh, you know, it's shunned from the idea of being a deer caught in the headlights, you know, and everything that could go wrong went wrong during that playoff game. You know, starting out with the opening drive, fumble here, right, 10-yard line getting ready to score and interception. And, 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 you know, we did have a lot of kids that had never been in that situation. And, uh, and, and these kids, I don't take away anything that they accomplished all season long. But, you know, it's something that will definitely uh, remain uh, in our in our in our brain for a long time, you know, we want to be able to rise to that challenge and take over and, and do what we're capable of doing. Yes, sir. Well, and and you know, you guys are going to bring back uh, a fair amount from from this year's squad. Most notably, uh, you bring back a district MVP, uh, the quarterback, and, and Evan Cassianos, who I know was a real breakout star for you guys as a sophomore. Um, yes. What is it about this young man that makes him special? You know, he's got the leadership qualities, you know, uh, he's a, uh, he's a, he's a quiet individual, but he leads by example in, in the weight room as of right now, especially on the football field. You know, I mean, he's just got a, uh, a strong magnetic, uh, you know, uh, uh, magnetism that, that just draws him to be able to get the other uh, teammates on, on his team to, Hey, jump on board and let's get it done. And he's just a respectful young man. Uh, he understands the game. He's got a, a, a good IQ as far as football, and uh, and he, he loves it. And that's just it. You know, most kids, you ask them, hey, hey do you love playing the game? And, he, and he's one of those individuals that loves it, and he's ready to rise to that next year's challenge. You know, it's going to be tough for sure. A lot of bullseyes are going to be on him and along with everybody else here in Carrizo. But, you know, he's just got to stay humble, and that's just one thing we do. We preach that every day. We stay humble, but we stay humble. Uh, speaking of uh, of 2022 and, and the future, you know realignment has come and gone. You guys uh, get a little bit of a shakeup in your district. Gone are uh, our rivals like Hondo and Crystal City, who are dropping down. You guys add a, a program in uh, in San Antonio YMLA into a uh, into a, a five team district. I'm interested from your perspective uh, what. Uh, uh, when you take a look at, at your your district draw, what uh, what was surprising to you, and, and and what do you see as far as the, the future is concerned? Yeah, you know, I knew that as soon as they were talking, you know, numbers wise were coming out. I knew they were going to end up taking out Hondo and, and Crystal. We were going back and forth debating. And my, my biggest deal was, darn it, I hope they don't leave us with a five team district. But <laughs> they went ahead and did, you know, and that's always a struggle because then we're having to try to find a week six. But, you know, you said it best. You know, we're not going to lose those teams as far as uh, not playing them in the preseason. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we have Hondo scheduled. And we have Crystal City, you know, they're they're close too. So those will be definitely good games for us to, to you know, get after it. Um, but now with the new opponent coming in, YMLA, you know, we just have to see what they got to offer. Of course, it's never an easy road having to go through Divine for our district. Mm -hmm. So we just have to stay stay hungry and keep after it. Um, I'm sure that it's going to be a tough year. Uh, we got a lot to prove, and so does everyone else in the district, starting out with Bandera and Pearsall. Uh, start uh, talking with Carrizo Springs coach Giovanni Gonzalez here on Texas Football Today. Coach, we've danced around it finally, and I, I just got to ask you about it. You are an alum 
uh, there at, <laughs> at at Carrizo Springs. You're, you're, it's a homecoming for you. I imagine that uh, that people are uh, people are pretty fired up to to have a hometown boy back on the helm. But 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 most importantly, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up uh, 1996, 1997, and 1998 where you had three consecutive 1,000-yard rushing seasons there for the Wildcats. Uh, I believe three of the top eight long, you know, uh, highest rushing totals in, in program history. I, the, the question is simple. Can you still get out there and go? If we need, if we need like, 10 carries or something like that, uh, can, can we get it from you? Uh, I, 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 I don't think I'll be able to do that, but I might be able to give one at least, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, but that's just it. You know what I mean? And, that, and, and I know, you know, I might beat around this, but you know, and when we, when we were put to the challenge, it's like all these other young men, out there, you know, including my age and older, and we all reminisce those good days about playing football, but you know, it was a humbling feeling. And, and when you knew you gave it everything it had and uh, you never let down your coaches, you know, that's just kind of what we ask our kids to do, and they did that this year very well. He's Giovanni Gonzalez. He's the head coach of the Carrizo Springs Wildcats. Uh, coach, we really appreciate your time. Congratulations again on a fantastic 2021 uh, debut season, and uh, can't wait to see what you do for an encore. Awesome, man. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, and thanks for all the, the great publicity. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.